Welcome back to my channel, people. We're going to speak about Kim Kardashian's financial struggles today. She's been living a false life online, flaunting her expensive homes and automobiles when she's really deeply in debt. And none other than her ex-husband, Kanye West, has confirmed the rumors. Is Kim genuinely in financial trouble? Well, it appears that Kim has always had a dubious financial history. She once assisted singer Brandy in the closet before becoming well-known. But by stealing from her, she did her dirty work. Kim had Brandy's credit card information for a single transaction, but she saved the information for years and hung onto it until she felt there had been enough time to commit the theft. They took $120,000 from Brandy's mother, along with her sisters Kane Hlo and Rob. Through spinning the stolen money at their stores, Dash and Smooch attempted to be cunning and obscure the paper trail. But because the transactions were unauthorized, they were caught red-handed. When they didn't pay back the money for more than a year, Brandy's mother decided to file a lawsuit against them despite giving them the chance to do so without resorting to legal action. When they were discovered, they were forced to reimburse Brandy for roughly $700,000. The true cause of Ray J's separation from Kim was this event. That's not all, however. A money laundering plan involving Kim and her sugar daddy, Joe Lowe, was also discovered. She routinely accompanied him on trips to casinos and gambling establishments, and in 2009, she said that they had flown back to Los Angeles with a garbage bag full of $250,000 in cash that he had won at a Las Vegas casino. But as it turns out, Jolo has been connected to money laundering schemes, suggesting that this may have been a component of a larger scheme. According to the source, Lo is sought by foreign law enforcement in relation to a multi-billion dollar money laundering conspiracy. He is charged with being the brains behind a plot to steal $4.5 billion from the government-run Economic Development Fund in Malaysia. The FBI looked into Kim, but they were unable to find any evidence to support any charges. The Kardashians have been charged with tax evasion using the California Community Church, which has only made matters stranger. The members of this church, which Kris Jenner formed in 2009 and is a non-profit organization, are required to pay a $1,000 monthly fee as well as 10% of their yearly salary as a donation. Naturally, the Kardashians are among the family members who contribute 10%, which results in an annual tax savings of 10%. The fact that Kris Jenner is the church's owner raises even more red flags since every time the Kardashians donate 10%, the money is practically going to their mother. As a consequence, Kris may be able to find a method to return their funds, which would effectively negate their donation while still allowing them to take advantage of the tax break. Yes, very dubious. What does all of this imply, then? Is Kim really insolvent? So, it's difficult to say for sure. She could be in debt, but there's a chance that she still has a lot of money invested in stocks and other assets. But it's obvious that her financial situation isn't as comfortable as she portrays it online. Additionally, it is evident that she is not above shady financial practices like tax evasion and stealing from others. What do you think, guys? Please share in the comments section.